hi guys welcome to another part of Android examples in this part we are going to learn about indent object in Android so for demonstrating it I create a new project and name the application as indent demo I may I name it as indent demo okay change the package name here I change it as indent demo and click next again click next here is a blank activity is created again click next here I am going to change the activity name I change the activity name as first activity and change the layout name as first layout now click next Okay, now the project is created and here is the layout file of that project go to the graphical layout by default there is a text view is present I just delete that text view now I am going to add a button here so I just click a button from the palette and drag it into the layout go to the XML layout and change the ID of the button as BN and now I am going to change the text of the button as go to second activity go to second activity okay I save it I save it using control S now you can see here the new button is generated I just align assign I just modify the width of the button okay now save it again now I am going to create a new activity so now firstly I am going to create a new class file for the activity so create a new class here and name it as second activity now click finish now uh, you can see a new Java class is created named the second activity now we are going to create now I am going to create layout for the second activity so right click the layout folder and choose the new option and create and choose the other option and select the uh, from the Android category select the Android XML layout file Android XML layout file choose it and click next and I name it as second layout I name it as second layout and click finish okay now the second layout is created here so now I am going to add a text view on the second layout so here I am going to add a text view Now create the layout for the text view. Android layout width is equal to. I make it as much parent. Now specify the height of the text view. Android layout height is equal to. Android layout height is equal to. I give it as wrap content now provide a text for the text view so Android text is equal to I referred it from the string XML string results I give it as an identifier called the greetings now I save it using controllers and now go to the values folder and open up the strings.xml and add a new string here so string type click OK and provide the identifier name it is greetings and provide a value here I give it us welcome to second activity 
now where the value was welcome to second activity now again I save it using control s now go to the second XML here is the second layout now go to the second activity.java file and extends that class using activity extends activity now we need to import activity class import activity okay now there is an overlight method called uh, on create on create okay now we need to set the content view for the activity set content view set content view r dot layout dot that layout name is second layout again save it now go to the manifest file of our project so open up the android manifest.xml and go to the xml version of that manifest file here you need to provide the activity tab for the second activity so I just copy this activity tag I just copy the activity tag and paste it so this is the activity tag for the second activity and name the android name as that class name so that class name is dot second activity second activity I save it because this class name is matching so here is the activity name android name as second activity okay uh, now we need to provide that indent filter name I name it as uh, second filter I name it as second filter and now change the category as default this not launcher I change it as default now save it using control s I just save it again now go to the first activity.java file and here I just create an object for button I name it as button here you need to import button now button is equal to find view by id button equal to find view by id r dot id dot that identifier name is bn now here some errors are present we need to cast it here because it's an object and save it again sorry here is the here is some spelling mistakes are there so ok ok b is small actually it is caps change it as capital B ok save it again now create that action listener for the button button dot set on click listener so an anonymous type new view dot on click listener you need to import some packages here So I just import some package using Control Shift O. You can import package using the short key Control Shift O. Now on the on click. First I just create an object of indent class indent i is equal to new indent and provide that filter name here indent filter name here. So go to the manifest file again. You can see the indent filter name is second filter so you can use the same identifier for creating that indent filter object also so give it us second filter second filter now 
we need to import indent here so I just import indent class now we can start that activity using start activity start activity and pass indent object as argument ok now save it again now save the project now we can run the project so right click the project and choose run as Android application open your AVD open AVD ok now the project is successfully launched and here is the button up here and I just click the button now it will move it to the second activity ok guys thank you for watching see you in the next part of this tutorial